Da Nang Airport. Let's see what this city has to offer. It should be a different climate. Let's find out. Checking went smoothly as never before. So I arrived to Jolia's house. This is how it looks like. Spacious. Like a working space. Oh, Jolia, Jolia house. And we should check view from the balcony. Oh, we can spy other guests. You can see a seaside or maybe one kilometer even or less. So it's quite close. Oh modern, stylish. And some this toothbrush kit. I like it. Around uh, twenty dollars per night. Some plug of rats over here. You see one? Crazy nightlife of this place. Foot massage on every corner. Random campfire in the middle of the city. What is going on here? Finally, some regulations for this insanity, at least during the Incredible view at night, not expecting it. City vibe, house, just like in Florida. on the beach wherever I go I'm I am super lucky look at this wall of rain pouring down I can afloat the street it's insane I hope it will get better in the morning. Is it for wedding? Looks like it. So you can also rent a old mobile BMW. Go pick it up. A new haircut, go to beach home. And some statue. So this is perfect, ban me with uh, 
some I don't know if there is a beef, probably beef, a lot of onion, eggs, cucumber, spicy sauce, really good. Like a baguette, French baguette. This is the finest hotel in Vietnam. Looks like it. This one is kind of hairy. I don't know what's that. Let's try it. So for those two baguettes, I paid one point sixty-four of a dollar, which is, I mean, in other words, it's. 40,000 dongs. Well, what can you say? It's pretty affordable. This is kind of coffee. I have never tried salt coffee, coconut coffee. Okay, let's enter. One dollar coffee. Latte, to be precise. I love this place. Would be nice to get one. If you are a surfer, this is probably a good weather condition for you. We have some kite surfers on the other hand. Red flag. They don't care. A living sea. A little bit of struggle, but respect to go on in a such a weather condition. Cafe Moy. I think it's with some cream. Interesting food over here. Maybe I will pass it this time. So the real Vietnamese coffee in Da Nang. Some extra tea. 17,000 dongs each. Perfect. So this is how we enjoyed our time in Da Nang. Oh, at least good coffee. So there's some quick nest building. A lot of bees trying to build a bee block. I think two days and we'll be finished. Today, sea is definitely in a bad mood will swallow you, destroy every boat. Be careful of mother nature. So this is a typical Vietnamese road. Well, you need to be patient, let them go through. <laughs> Hello. Beef soup. Perfect. Uh, hmm. Not really, <laughs> even driving a scooter is much better. We are getting closer and closer. This huge statue of Rio de Nang. Linan Pagoda is a prominent Buddhist temple situated on Sontra Peninsula, which offers breathtaking view of the East Sea, Danang City and the surrounding mountains. The temple is surrounded by lush greenery, adding to its serene and tranquil atmosphere.
Linan Pagoda features a mix of modern and traditional Vietnamese Buddhist architectural elements. The temple complex includes various halls, shrines and beautiful gardens creating a harmonious and aesthetic pleasing environment for visitors. Outside the gate there is a beautiful courtyard with various types of bonsai trees and a sculptural group of 18 arhat statues that protect the main shrine. Each statue reflects its own individual emotions, joy, anger, love and hate. From the top, such an incredible view. One of the main attractions of Linan Pagoda is the giant Lady Buddha statue known as the statue of Guayan or Goddess of Mercy. The statue stands at the height of approximately 67 meters, making it one of the tallest Buddha statues in Vietnam. The statue is made of marble and is a symbol of compassion and peace. The construction of Linan Pagoda and the Lady Buddha statue began in 2004 and was completed in 2010. The pagoda has undergone subsequent expansions and renovations contributing to its current grandeur. So many of them. The sculpture of Lady Buddha seems to grow out of this flower. She seems to freeze in a gesture of blessing. Even the folds and drapiers of her clothes have smooth and calm lines. Only the arm bent at the elbow and the hem of her robe seem to cut the figure into two conventional parts. Do not feed mangoes here. I haven't seen any, unfortunately. Hand exercises while the other hand is holding a bottle of holy water, like sprinkling the peace to the offshore fishermen. Hello. Oh, there's some eels here. Look at these guys. Electric eels. Just waiting to electrify me. Monsters. Almost like from Loch Ness. Huge monster, catfish. It's a tamarind tree, I suppose. Huge fruits of tamarind. Huge pomelo growing in a temple area. Sorry, sorry. I really apologize. I will remove myself. Lin Un Pagoda is not only a popular tourist destination, but also is an important spiritual and cultural site for locals. It serves as a place of worship, meditation, and religious ceremonies for Buddhists in the region. To sit on here.
Don't confuse those happiness symbols with the one that used to be popular in Europe. This one is ready for harvesting. Quite heavy. Kilogram at least. I'm gonna carry the boats. I gonna do it. Within the Lin und Pagoda complex there is a five-story tower that visitors can climb to enjoy panoramic view of the surrounding landscape. The tower is not only architectural highlight but also provides a unique vantage point for appreciating the natural beauty of the area. Both these stupas and towers often have symbolic significance representing different elements of Buddhist cosmology. The multiple stories might be associated with different realms or stages of enlightenment. The pagoda is often a venue for Buddhist festivals and events. Visitors have the opportunity to witness traditional ceremonies, rituals and cultural performances that celebrate Buddhist traditions and values. We reached some viewpoint that a lot of tourists omit. So, let me show you. This is the road that will continue. So there is the whole peninsula. It's quite windy today, but let's keep on going anyway. in the temple area this huge wild pig is doing so let's continue our journey of a lifetime let's get out from this parking lot picturesque view of the Gulf. Incredible. Hey. Hello. Hey. Oh, it's injured one. Not good. Another dude coming. Oh. Hello. They're actually hanging out here. Small one. Oh, the one is crossing the street. Some mon monkey baby. And there is a grandfather. Monkey is making some massage. Or checking for any insects. They are helping each other. Really nice community of monkeys. So it seems like it's their kingdom. 
because automatic scooters are prohibited in that area so see you guys somewhere yeah that's what I'm saying so our wonderful vehicle that we explore this peninsula such a good option incredible it's incredible This is the road that we ride here. So we arrived to the point where crossing is not possible. So either we can walk and get attacked by monkeys or just stay here or just go back. So let's take a risk and explore this place anyway. Look, the dogs and monkeys are not cooperating here. They're fighting for territory. Oh, look at this. Right, so we are entering the territory. I hope they won't steal anything from us and they just let us explore it. There's a little village that crossing my scooter is prohibited for some reason. Seems like there is no fire risk this forest. We are on, in the green area, you're safe. All right, so it seems like it's not really possible to explore it much. Let's go anyway. Malotus barbatus, the roots and fruits are used against muscle stiffness. Incredible butterflies. Look at how bright the color is. Incredible. Looks like a small bird. Wow. Oh, it's not even butterfly. Actually, there is a danger of landslides and rock fallings. No joke. All right, seems like we have some army of monkeys there. I'll try to get closer, but I'm not brave enough to say hi to them. hidden in this bush waiting to jump on us ah uh, okay oh. let's go maybe they are not so brave i don't want to test them <laughs> anyway Let's go! <laughs> let's go, let's go! It's a wonderful peninsula. Selfies. This is the life on a Scooter life. Danak. Even though it's dead, still looks scary. Anyway, continue our journey. Scooter trip. I have seen the snake over here. But it's hide somewhere. Unfortunately. 
froggy, froggy, frog. Froggy, froggy, froggy. Hello, froggy. Hello. Okay, so abandoned antenna, at least, looks like. What's up, doggy, doggy? Protecting area from monkeys. Doing a good job. Goodbye. Not impressed. Okay. Some wild goats. Oh, they're a little afraid of us. <laughs> Let's remove ourselves. Hello, goats. Oh. They are totally not interested in humans. I understand. Old Soviet radars on the top of the hill. Fortunately, either look abandoned. Unfortunately, entrance is not allowed, and it's hard, basically. Like the owner didn't turn off the water. This property is going all the way on the road. Some floating here. Harbor. entrance to Danang port terminal the farthest we could get so it's time to go back to city Marines here security here so we should get out of this place so perfect fresh coconut for only 50 cents this is the life spring rolls Where? first put it in there put some meat and roll it just like it So many sculptures, different size, but most of them probably related to religion. Abandoned or not such a tourist place, a beach and it's a huge light bulb. Trash stuff. Oh, there's even a new helmet for me. Perfect. Such a windy day today. Some abandoned buildings, which is kind of scary. Creepy kind of abandoned building that looks so suspicious. different angle some bad neighborhood <laughs> seems like it so there's actually a guy fishing after dark in the ocean interesting idea see it but this ocean is just like evaporating when it's going back it's really cool experience to watch. It's like the land is so expensive that they're building as tall as it could be and you can see how thin that building is. Called K chicken, like a K pop, but a chicken. Yeah. 
night market. Danak. So this thing has actually a fun on a flower. Coriander. Some rice and the beef. Fish sauce. And rice with seafood. So this is the super elevator to the little hill viewpoint of the Danang. This is the the most visited trip advisor place somehow. So let's explore it. Oh, next time. Here is the elevator. Blaise is famous for its stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. These five limestone and marble hills are named after the five elements – metal, wood, water, fire and earth. The mountains are renowned for their intricate cave system, ancient pagodas and breathtaking panoramic views. Visitors can explore the caves and grottoes, marvel at the intricate stone sculptures and statues and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere of the Buddhist sanctuaries. The five green hills were little islands on the water surface of the South China Sea, but gradually the water receded, giving way to a bizarre landscape of marble mountains. People have worshipped these places since the time of the ancient Champa culture, the memory of which remains in ruins on the slopes as well as in the 4th century Buddha statue. Buddhist monks worship them and keep their shrines here. The Vietnamese emperors build pagodas and love to hide gold and jewelry in the mountains. Enter this wonderful cave. Incredible. Malibu. Welcome to the Dragon Bridge. Now we are waiting for the dragon to show its power. What is going on here? People block the street. We are in the center of events, waiting for the dragon to start blowing. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> this is actually warm. <laughs> Ooh. All right. <laughs> Damn.
the real New York City pizza. This is the Vietnamese Coca-Cola, the Dragon. Really nice design. The real noodles with what is supposed to be a well done chicken. That it was so well done that it transformed itself into beef. Some dangerous snake here. Oh, and it's gone, and it's gone. It was wonderful. Trust me. Hope, hopefully, not poisonous. Welcome to Bona Hills, and we're trying to get the lift to the top. Let's see how it's gonna work. Let's go. Christmas vibe. Let's go skiing. Alps. Let's get our snowboard. Ipana Hills cable car holds the record for being the longest non-stop single track cable car in the world. The cable car covers a distance of approximately 5,801 meters, which is 3.6 miles in one go, providing passengers with brief taking views of the surrounding landscape.
The journey starts at any elevation of around 148 meters and reaches the peak at any elevation of approximately 1,414 meters. This dramatic change in elevation allows passengers to experience different climate zones during the ascent. This cable car system has been recognized by the Guinness World Record for several achievements, including having the highest non-stop ascending cable car at the time of its construction. System is designed to accommodate a large number of passengers. It has a capacity of up to 2000 people per hour, allowing for efficient transportation of visitors to and from the summit. Now we are reaching the top. Unfortunately, it's in the clouds, but you can see the shadow of the Golden Bridge. Finally, reach our goal, which is this big hand, massive hand. That's amazing. Look at this. Epic. Purely epic. Oh yeah. <laughs> we achieved our goal. See massive hand holding this bridge. Amazing, incredible, with some epic music score like from Jurassic Park. So crazy. Unfortunately, there is no view, but at least I recorded from the cable car. Let's get through those hands and get blessed. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of the Golden Bridge is the pair of colossal stone hands that emerge from the mountainside to support the structure. The hands are weathered and appear ancient, giving the impression that they have been there for centuries. The design is both unique and symbolic, representing the divine connection between humanity and the heavens. Getting epic. Some view got exposed. Let me show you the world through the fingers. Epic. See the shadow of those wonderful monster hands and just a little of like a rainbow. <laughs> Let's fly. Yeah, rounded rainbow and our shadow in it. Purely psychedelic trip. Welcome to Jurassic Park.
actually you have some kind of tram like in Prague, like in Lisbon I believe and many other places and Switzerland some mysterious fog if you can see there is a Buja statue there quite epic so spooky Meditation place. Well, they are right. <laughs> Looks like some. Roman architecture for me. No one is meditating, fortunately. Le Jardin de Amor is renowned for its romantic and meticulously manicured gardens. The area consists of multiple themed gardens, each with its unique design, flowers, and features. The gardens are often named after different aspects of love, such as love of the country, love of the city, love of the ocean, and more. Visitors can find numerous statues and sculptures that add an artistic touch to the gardens. These sculptures often depict romantic or classical themes, enhancing the overall aesthetic appeal of the area. The gardens are adorned with a diverse array of flowers, plants and trees, creating a lush and colorful environment. The variety of flora contributes to a visual, stunning and vibrant landscape, making it a popular spot for nature lovers and those seeking a peaceful retreat. King, the Queen's Gambit. Let's play some chess. <laughs> Each section of the garden is designed with a specific theme in mind. For example, the Legend Garden features statues representing legendary love stories, adding a touch of mythology to the romantic ambience. That running out of water. We have some flood here. What is going on? Die hoogte is niet zo heel prettig, vind ik, als ik het zo kijk, maar ja. Het lijkt net dat je nou naar beneden gaat. Ja, dit is zo mooi. En dit is weer een beetje naar beneden. Ja.
This place reminds a little bit Louvre and St. Peter Basilica in Vatican at once. Built in Roman style, definitely. What's inside this little level and there is exhibition. Once upon a time, the Lunar Castle was built on the Dragon Den of the Fire Dragon, the most ancient and mysterious species of the Moon Kingdom. To this day, visitors can still see the remnants of the dragon's den on the first floor of the castle when visiting here. With a total floor area of up to 38,000 square meters, including four floors with different themes, dragon's den, powerful wolf, earth owl, and the moon square. A 2,000 seat stage is a place of high class shows. Light up the clock. Fortunately, I can't get focus on it. British cab and here is the rest of the castle wonderful place the French village is designed to replicate the architecture and atmosphere of medieval European town visitors can wander through cobblestone streets and admire buildings reminiscent of French villages creating a charming and nostalgic ambience
Tchaikovsky over here. Frédéric Chopin. There you go. The heart of the French village is a medieval square where visitors can find cafes, restaurants and shops. The square often hosts performances adding to the lively and festive atmosphere. The architecture and layout aim to transport visitors to a different era, creating a unique blend of history and entertainment. Beer plaza where you can get a German beer. So let's, maybe not for a beer, but let's get some buffet. Beer plaza in the beer. Let's celebrate beer consumption. We have to consume on the buffet some spaghetti, European food, coconut and the wonderful red wine. Waitresses in Christmas hats. Looks a bit fake, but it's not bad in general. Everything is shining. Let's see what's inside. It's an elevator to the bottom of this wonderful mountain almost wow wonderful tower goes down. Nested in the convergence of the heaven and the earth, Yin in Yang Lin to Pagoda of the Holy Mountain Mother is dedicated in homage of the Holy Mountain Mother, who grants patronate to Bana. In addition to climbing the highest point of Danang, pilgrims to this pagoda are all drenched in innermost peace and have their worldly greed and fear totally rid. Pagoda. The wind song. Incredible Buddha statue on the mountainside. That will be the end of the Danang story. Thank you for watching.